This place is absolute paradise. We have this whole little mini lake to ourselves on this property. There's a nice little swim dock out in the middle of it with a little diving board off the top. We have spent every single day, pretty much all day long, just playing out on the water. It's been so much fun. Yeah. All right, here we go. Keep doing it. Woo. Good morning from Yak, Montana. We are here ah. with four other families, all with kids, and the kids have just been having a blast running around like crazy, but we're about to start a relay race. Yes. Let's go head out and see how it goes. The guys decided to do the kids relay, so here we go. Hopefully no one will get hurt. Are you ready for this? Yeah! been chasing us around with a pancake and syrup. <laughs> now it's finally time to eat. <laughs> Whose pancake is that? <laughs> Whose syrup is that? I think this is Ben Romay's syrup. Here, roll it like this. We <laughs> chased him around the whole time with syrup and a pancake. Oh. <laughs> so I wanted to give you a quick little tour of this fantastic place that we're at. This is my great aunt, aunt and uncle's property. They have about 220 acres out in northwestern Montana. Uh, it's the middle of the summer. We are absolutely having a blast out here. The really cool thing about it is that it's totally out in the middle of nowhere. There's no cell reception, there's no internet, there's no connectivity to anything. So it's a really good chance just to completely unplug and have a really good time spending time with each other. So we came out here with four other families, with kids, and we've all just been out here having a really good time for the last few days. And I wanted to give you a quick little tour of the place that we've been staying for a little while.
I've been here a few times, but it's been probably 15 years since I've been here. And the, the memories that we make here are just the absolute best of the kind that you never forget. When we wake, we're gonna go boating! Side by side, our fears are gone. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. Hey, it's a lot of kayaks, right people? Hi, my name is Hudson. You and I, we got it. We don't need no more. Even in the hard times, you and I can weather any storm. Before I sleep. Crickets see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right This is a new RV for us still, so we're still kind of getting used to the sleeping arrangements. I just wanted to show you what it looks like for us in the morning. Pretty much every night, both Miller and Lawson end up coming and getting into our bed. So we end up having four people in our little queen size bed. And then Becca usually ends up getting up and going and sleeping in Lawson's bed. So I just want to give you a little sneak. Good morning from Yak, Montana. We're leaving all our friends today and family and we're heading on to a different place in Montana. I actually don't even know where we're going. Ben booked the site, but I'm just cleaning the floors. I'm excited to get out of here. My skin does not agree with Yak, Montana because it's just been peeling and so dry. My eyes have been hurting and dry this whole time. I don't know if that's allergies, but I'm ready to get out of here. It's been beautiful though and so much fun sad to leave. The kids are sad to leave all their friends and cousins, but the adventure waits. So let's get this place cleaned up. The slide's pulled in and we're ready to try to get out of this driveway again. We'll see how that works because it's a tight squeeze. Let's vacuum this place up. What are you doing? Can I put 
the iPad. No, it's time to go. Go tell Daddy I need the keys to the RV. Go get him. On to the next place. Let's go. Montana and I do not agree. Look at my eyes, my skin. Woo! This place has just like sucked me out. All the moisture out of my skin like a raisin. Is it, is it not humid? Is it? What's with the weather here? Is there low humidity? Must be. Ben's following behind me in the beast. We're getting out of here. It's been so much fun. But I'm excited to like camp as a family. Let's check them out. Now that we're out of that tricky little driveway and we're just on a tricky dirt road, we're gonna hook the Suburban up because once we pull out of this, once we pull out of this driveway, we're on the main road and it's only two lanes, so we don't wanna be blocking that. We're gonna hook the Suburban up and be on our way to our next spot. And then I'll have cell phone service. I haven't had cell phone service in eight days. Gotta call my parents. Get all my connections. Turning the blinker on to check the connection. I'll make sure all our lights are working. I am being eaten by mosquitoes, but Miller, mosquitoes like Miller the most. Wesley, do you have your iPad? No. Mom, you already me in the note. Miller, do, Wesley, do you have your iPad? Well, we got problems. The Suburban isn't turning into neutral to turn the transfer case into neutral to tow behind the car. I just tried to do that and started blinking at me and then said service four wheel drive and now I, I can't change anything as far as the selector goes. So unfortunately that means that Becca is gonna have to drive for the next couple hours because we're a couple hours outside of any kind of town or service or anything like that. So good times. I'm glad that you're at least here. So I'm not totally stuck on my own. So now Becca's I'm gonna go drive tired. by herself. She doesn't do well driving long distances, so this will be fun. Have fun, honey. Don't fall asleep. He's a happy camper. All right, well, good news, everybody. I was able to fix the vehicle myself or get it working without having to take it to a shop. Uh, we drove about 45 minutes or so until we could get to a place with internet, and then I was able to just use my friend Google to look up what to do, and I basically just had to run it through two-wheel drive, auto, four-wheel drive, high, low, and all the way back, and then I was able to get it into neutral. So now I'm gonna get the car hooked back up, and we should be good to go to keep going on our way. So crisis averted. Um, I'm, I'm really thankful that that was it, that it wasn't a really big deal. So we're stopped in a place called Bonners Ferry right now. It's kind of a, just a cute little town. The kids are exploring with, with mom. Um, and we just got a little ways to go until our next place. So let's get this thing hooked back up. All right, now we gotta get the brake reinstalled. We'll be on our way. Well, we made it to our campsite. Yay. Everything, everything is working just fine. Ben fixed the tow problem. I love right. the Suburban, so I didn't have to drive it the whole way, which is great. Whew. But we are going to have to wait till next week to see where we're at. We're sunscreening up to get out the door right now. Tune in next week to see what we're doing and where we're at. What? Let me show you something. Look at Wesley. He looks, why does the sunscreen make it look purple? I don't know. Purple. Know. See? Look out like purple undertones. 
Anyway, we'll see you guys next week. Make sure you remember that you're never going to look back on your life and wish you went on less adventure. See you next week. <laughs>